Hello YouTube, this is Zarazan. Today I'll be showing you how to use MC Edit to make schematics and to place schematics. Now what a schematic is, is basically you select an area and you can copy all of those chunks, all those blocks you have. So if you have a building that you really like and you want to bring it to another world, another level, you use MC Edit and you come in here, you select near the bottom opposite edge, you get the yellow and the blue blocks for each you know opposite side of what you want to select for the model. You use these nudge tools right here. See, I'm moving this in and out, trying to make sure I got everything correct. I could take all this, you know, I could not. Uh, I'm not really sure about, there's no way to sort of like get the, the parts individually. So I didn't want all this grass, but I wanted to make sure I had, you know, all the ledges sticking out. I don't think you can do that. Uh, but you can just select the whole thing and then, you know, when you copy it somewhere, just paste it in the air and, you know, slice all the chunks off and then bring it down. So yeah, this is very important using nudge tools, uh, you know, and then export right there. It's showing you uh, hotkeys are, but you'll just export whatever. All right, now we're back in the ice world. Uh, yeah, this is my spawn point. I'm gonna a little shrine to it. This is all handmade right here. All this, the uh, ice world proper, the old original, is all handmade. Nothing added in. Nothing. Uh, didn't use MC Edit. I, I waited a long time before I started using mods for Minecraft. So. Uh, by the end game now, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of it, so I'm I'm ready to uh, actually use the tools to make stuff better. Uh, here's my nether base. Uh, yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing off how expansive it is. Now, nether. I don't know how everyone's nether is. This one is a uh, got a very vast central area, and uh, I've taken the opportunity to build a lot on it. But you know. Got to look for a lot of extra space. I, I imported a bunch of the schematics. I didn't import them yet, but I have them saved for the Burning City. Uh, a guy in Reddit had submitted these uh, huge, huge buildings, and he's got schematics for it. So those are already pre-made. Uh, now, I've made my wicked... Oh, look, my and my spawn point's in the nether. I find that very, very strange. I, I guess that's how it works. It's a mere copy of the world. I just feel a little, feel a little exposed there. It's all hanging out on top of a bunch of lava. But yeah, there's a, in this vast central area, there's a lot of space for me to put things. Yeah, I guess I could put it around. You still don't want to run too far when there's gas on your tail. Uh, but here I am. Uh, this is the exact same wicked ugly tower that I copied before. And all I did was say import schematic. I'm sorry you couldn't see it, but the dialog box doesn't get captured when uh, when this did. Uh, it just wasn't, it, it's not uh, OpenGL or anything. For the uh, dialog box, but it's just a normal folder box, just like you'd open, you know, and save just a text file. You know, it's it's simple. And here I'm clicking the green now. The green nudge is how you move your whole block there. Then you can see the the rotate, the roll, the flip, the mirror keys. You know, mirror you only use if you want to make you know like ears, make the ears look the same on each side. And flip roll, you can figure it all out. You just gotta make sure you hold down that nudge. You just click it, click it with your mouse, and then press all the directional keys. All your normal, normal WSAD keys, except Q is for um, altitude upwards, and uh, Z is for altitude downwards. All right, so that looks uh, very odd. Very odd. Some snow hanging out in the nether. Yes, indeed. No, oh, yeah, it's going to get it perfect. Nudge it over there. And then once you're all set, you can click import. Also, uh, it's good to know there's two Check marks for copy air and copy water. I could not copy the air, right? See, and go down here, and uh, well, whatever parts would normally be filled with lava, they'll just fill right up. It'll fill the whole room up. But if I copy the air, then all the air inside the building will be copied as well. Obviously, same thing for water. That's how it all works. If you want to unclick those, you can let this, you know, just whatever fill it in. Now here's one of those big buildings. It's a big apartment building from uh, the Burning City. There, I gotta get the guy's name, but his link will be in the description regardless, even though I've never took the time to look it up just to say it. What a jerk. Uh, but yeah, these things are so huge, it's hard to place. Uh, you should notice too that uh, if you hold on right mouse, this is how you move around, you know, look around in MC Edit. Uh, but it's a little weird when you have a block selected, especially a large uh, schematic uh, block, so to speak, as that is. Uh, so you just, just let go of it. Then, whoa, nearly. Get your hand off the trigger. And just let it, just, uh, it'll, it'll snap to the nearest available block you have in your 3D vision, which uh, can vary wildly with depth depending on where you are in the scene. But, you know, you just 
you can plop it anywhere and then nudge it after you've plopped it. So don't worry about plopping it too soon. In fact, that's what I should have done. But I'm trying to find a good spot to put this thing. In this, it, you know, I think I would love to add these. Uh, even though they're not my own, they're, they are just awesome works of art. They just, they don't fit anywhere. Look at that thing. Look at that behemoth. What are you going to do with that? What are you going to do? This area is already enormous, and I'm a, I mean, like I'm going to have a, a trap of a a twisting spiral of flaming stairs. I don't think so. The nether's already fun enough. All right. And something like this, uh, you could bring it down, uh, let's say, one level. Say I didn't want that floor level. Yeah, right there, the stone floor. I could bring it down. Nah, I brought it down really far. But you could bring it down one level, right? And you copy it in, and it would delete the top layer of lava. Yeah, you just select that whole floor layer, just one block thick, make it all lava again. Uh, same thing for this, something like this. You know, these come to the floor, including these schematics. And here's a, you see the red representing the fire text. There's a sort of a statue, I guess you'd say, a sculpture, carving, something of a man on fire. It looks, it would look pretty nifty from far away in here. I think I'll actually keep that one. That's that's small enough for my budget. This one is definitely not. The huge, huge cathedral. Anyway, yeah, I, I know I didn't really teach you much per se, but I'm just showing you how it really is super easy. You just gotta, you know, literally click those colored nudge buttons and move it around and have fun and just, you know, play around and see what you can come up with. Alright, it's been iRise on, just fooling around, showing you a bunch of stuff with MC Edit and Minecraft.